Hey everyone, Chuck here with Frank Bacon Machinery here to show you an ASTM D412 test. Um, we've got an Instron Series 1000 that we built out for a customer here. Um, this is our custom job with a set of eccentric roller grips, a long travel extensometer, of course, MT Genius software controller that we've turnkeyed for a customer. They sent us in some of their samples to run prior to actually shipping the machine. So we'll run one of these. So ASTM D412 um, is for elastomers, rubbers, you know, high elongation materials. So we're gonna go through step-by-step step running a D412 test. Step one is having the proper sample. Um, this is specified within the ASTM standard. Right now we've got an inch and a half gauge length dog bone sample here. Step two, we're going to load the sample up into our eccentric rollers. And so we're going to put in our sample into our eccentric rollers. Now we can offer um, pneumatic action grips with these systems as well. Um, this is a less expensive option for eccentric rollers and they typically are going to work just as well for these materials. Step three is loading up the extensometer onto our sample. Again, this is a long travel for the high elongation materials. Step four is going to be just running our sample. We've already got our ASTM preloaded into MT Genius software. So there is the D412 uh, preloaded analyses and some other stuff that our customer is going to want for this specific sample. But that's a nice portion of MT Genius is that you're going to already have some of those ASTM standards preloaded, D412 being one of them. Um, this sample is going to be run at 20 inches a minute, so it is a quick test. We can go ahead and run this now. Step five is when the test is done, analyze the results. As I mentioned, all the needed results within D412 are preloaded in the software. So these are the specific results that ASTM D412 calls out. And everything else is just some other uh, analyses that the customer wanted in addition to that. 